Hey guys, Davey here from phonebluff.com and in this video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on Android 4.2 on the Nexus 4 over here. Now some of these tips actually came with Android 4.1 or even on Ice Cream Sandwich but I'll go over them here nonetheless because they are some of the lesser known features. So out of the 10 tips I go over, I'm sure you phone bus will know a lot of them but even if there's just one or two tips you didn't know about, I think the video will be worthwhile so with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first tip is a shortcut to accessing quick settings. Normally you would swipe down from the notification bar and tap this button over here to get to them, but this isn't all that quick. But if you use two fingers to swipe down instead, it'll jump straight into the quick settings which is a lot, well, quicker. The second tip is another shortcut in the notification bar, but this time it's tapping the clock on the top left to get straight into your date and time settings. The third tip is a shortcut to accessing Google Now. Instead of tapping the search bar here, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen and it'll open Google Now up. You can do this from either side of the screen too, and it works regardless of what you're currently looking at. The fourth tip is unlocking the developer options in Android 4.2. Simply go to the settings and then go to About Phone, scroll down to the bottom where it says Build Number, and then continuously tap on it until you get a message letting you know that you are now a developer. The fifth tip is unlocking the Beanflinger Daydream screensaver. To do this, you'll go to settings once again, scroll down to about phone, and then find the Android version option and tap on it repeatedly. This will open up the Jelly Bean Easter egg, and by doing this, you will have automatically unlocked the Beanflinger Daydream. Now that Google Chrome is the default browser on Android, the sixth tip is a shortcut to switching tabs. Simply slide your finger from one end of the screen to the other, and Chrome will switch between your tabs. The seventh tip is especially useful when using new apps. You're not always going to be able to tell what a button does just by looking at its icon, so a great way to find out without actually pressing it is tapping and holding on the button, which will give you a little text box telling you exactly what the button does. The eighth tip is a shortcut to switch keyboards quickly. Simply press and hold on the spacebar and you'll get a pop-up letting you switch. This is great especially considering that 4.2 has a new built-in emoji keyboard. The ninth tip is being able to see what your original photo looked like while editing a picture in the gallery by swiping down. And finally, the tenth tip is pressing and holding on an app in the launcher to either see its info or uninstall it instead of trying to do it the long way by going through the settings. Alright guys, that's it for me in this video. Pretty simple stuff I know, but if you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.